डियर व्यूअर्स असलम वरम वर्क टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द शब मेराज दैट इज़ द नाइट ऑफ असेंशन इन टू दैवेंस दैट इज़ अ मेराकुलस जर्नी ऑफ प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद वसलम इन टू दैवेंस दैट वट इज़ द फिज़िक्स ऑफ दिस जर्नी एंड कैन वी अंडरस्टैंड इट फ्राम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ साइंस वी ऑल मुस्लिम्स वी बिलीव दैट प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद वसलम went to isra and miraj that he went from quran says in surah isra surah number 17 ayat number 1 kala says subhan alladhi asra bi abdihi that glory be to him who took his servant that prophet muhammad sallam what was taken from masjid e haram to masjid e aqsa and from there into the heavens so this journey is a miraculous journey and it is not just a spiritual journey but rather it is something uh, not not just a spiritual journey but rather it is for real that is we cannot say it is just physical because it is something beyond our scope of physics how we understand physics because we know very little in science even uh, with all the research and with all the development yet we know very little yet we know very little as i have discussed in previous videos also so we know very little so this i would i would say that this journey was something beyond physics too not just it it is not just a metaphysical concept but we cannot understand it even through the realm of science in today's times in today's era even through all the development we cannot understand it fully in accordance to the science but i will try to give some aspects that what is the physics of the miraj so first of all prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam angel jibril he came to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he opened his chest the chest of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he cleaned it and he cleansed it so that he washed it with zamzam water that this signifies that this journey which is actually the molding of time of space that is this journey is beyond time and space because it is into the heavens it is into the heavens and time was like freezed in this journey that is the important point that is sort of a relativity of time so time was freezed and space was molded such that it was be, it, it the prophet muhammad went beyond the space that is he he went beyond into the heavens so his body the physical body was changed into something to cope up with this journey that is into the heavens so he the body was washed and cleansed and he was given buraq so what is buraq buraq literally it is like lightning so this buraq was given to prophet muhammad sallam to take him into this journey into the heavens so buraq is something of energy because we cannot uh, see all we all muslim we believe in angels and in jinn so jinn is like made from fire that is energy so why can't we understand it likewise that the buraq is also it is energy and we cannot we cannot give the exact word or exact situation or exact concept about what buraq is so buraq is a vehicle for prophet muhammad sallam to go into this journey of miraj that is beyond time and space because as of now we we have not understood totally this how they are connected the time and space and how they are molded and how they are changed and altered see even if you think about the distances in the universe our life span only like 70 80 years is inconsistent with the distances even to cross this galaxy only the our milky way it requires 1 lakh years that to that to light years not just normal years so it requires this much so our life span is only inconsistent so we have a little very little knowledge of the time and space as of now so this journey of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is beyond time and space he went into the heavens he he saw paradise hell which don't exist now for us in this world so but he saw all this that is he went beyond this uh, space he went beyond the uh, universe that is he went into the heavens up to the seventh heaven and he met with allah so when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam returned from this journey 
and the gift of salah was given to him so when they doubted the unbelievers and they asked him about jerusalem and al aqsa prophet muhammad described them many things about the karma coming and also he described everything about al aqsa so how could he do that because he saw everything so in that journey was just like uh, in a second but it was a it was a journey which took a lot of time but not in relation to this world's time so that is how it shows the relativity of time also and the molding of space that we don't understand now because see our life span is just inconsistent with the distances in the universe because our life is like 70 years or 80 years and the distances are like in 1 lakh kilometers um, 1 lakh light years or uh, 1 million light years and that to just to cross our galaxies or go to next galaxy so that means that is totally inconsistent so there has to be a method to mold this space and go beyond that our science has not grasped yet but prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam went into this journey and through, through the emergence of also of quantum physics now that we are understanding that there is a deeper wisdom working at the core of this universe and we are still we are very i would say amateur in in this field so we are developing and we should not be arrogant to just dismiss such phenomena i hope this clarifies wama alaina illa albalagh